for today. Let's look at this interesting number theory question. It is suitable for beginner. Here is the question. Let A, B, C, D, E, F be positive integers such that A plus B equals C times D. C plus D equals E times F. E plus F equals A times B. You are asked to find the maximum value for A, B, C, D, E, F. Please have a good try before you look at the answer. When I was a student, I liked to play with numbers. So one day, these four integers come to me and I found that they are very interesting because 1 plus 5 is 6 equals 2 times 3. And 2 plus 3 equals 5 equals 1 times 5. I tried to generalize and write as a plus b equals c times d and c plus d equals a times b. I tried to get all the answer for the possible a, b, c, d. And obviously, if all a, b, c, d equals 2, it satisfies the equation. And you can verify that there are only two such solutions. This is the beginning of this question today. From the condition that we have today, we label it as the equation 1, 2, and 3. We take the sum for these three equations. On the left-hand side, we have a plus b plus c plus d plus f. And for the right-hand side, we have a, b plus c, d plus e, f. And we can rewrite this as a, b minus a minus b plus c, d minus c minus d plus e, f minus e minus f equals 0. Now, from the left hand side, we add 1 and 1 and 1. And on the right hand side, we add 3. The purpose of this is to factorize the first four term on the left hand side as a minus 1, b minus 1. And for the middle four terms, it is c minus 1, d minus 1. And the last four terms can be factorized as e minus 1, f minus 1. Since a, b, c, d, e, f are all positive integers, there are finally many possibilities. Now we suppose x equals a minus 1, b minus 1. y equals to c minus 1, d minus 1. z equals to e minus 1, f minus 1. So this means that x plus y plus z equals 3. Without loss of generality, we let x less than y less than z. Now x, y, z is either 0, 0, 3 or 0, 1, 2 or 1, 1, 1. So for the first case, if x, y, z equals to 0, 0, 3, it means that e minus 1 times f minus 1 equals 3. And 3 equals to 1 times 3. If e is less than or equal to f, meaning that e, f equals 2, 4. So e times f equals 8. From the equation to c plus d equal e, f equal 8. And from the condition that y equals to c minus 1, d minus 1 equals 0, one of these factors has to be equal to 0. If c is less than or equal to d, then c has to be equal to 1. If c equals 1, from the equation c plus d equals to e, f equals 8, 1 plus d equals 8, and therefore d equals 7. Now from equation 1, a plus b equals c, d, and in this case equals 7. Again, from a minus 1, b minus 1 equals 0, if a equals to b, a has to be equal to 1. So 1 plus b equals 7 and b equals 6. Now we can do a quick check. And we will see that the value of a, b, c, d, e, f that we obtained just now satisfy the equation. Next, we will proceed for the case x, y, z equals 0, 1, 2. Again, z equals e minus 1, f minus 1 equals 2. So if e less than equals to f, e, f equal 2, 3. And therefore, e times f equals 6. From the equation 2, c plus d equals e, f equals 6. Since y equals to c minus 1, d minus 1 equals 1, c, d has to be equal to 2 and 2. Again, from the second equation, c plus d equals 2 plus 2 equals 4. e, f equals 6. Obviously, 6 not equals to 4. And therefore, e, f not equals c plus d. And we conclude that there's no solution in this case. Finally, we consider the last case x equals y equals z equals 1, 1, 1. It's obvious that all a, b, c, d, e, f 
has to be the same and equals 2. Recall the question for today. You are asked to find the maximum value of A, B, C, D, E, F. And we obtain some answer from case 1 and case 3. For all the answer, we conclude that the maximum value for A, B, C, D, E, F equals 7. And therefore, 7 is the answer for today's question. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.